All right, it's your boy Reed. I'm back with another video. We got this guitar. There was a couple of people asking me a few questions about it. One person wanted to know that, uh, you know, just the condition of it. And then, can't remember right off the top what the other question was, but we'll, we'll take a look at this. Let me think, man. I just, you know, someone come walk out the door right here and caught my attention and just kind of threw me off there for a minute. Uh, oh, on, man, I'm struck. I think they were just asking was there a case involved so the answer to that is no uh yeah they want to know was there a case or anything else included besides the guitar and the answer to that is no and they want to know could they buy the guitar i guess they didn't see that it was already relisted anyways art and luthery canada it's an acoustic electric guitar i want to go down the whole thing so you can see the condition. Uh, somebody asked about, well, you know, was there any dick, dings and scratches and scuffs and stuff. Um, I see some normal Playboy scratches right there. I don't know if you can see that. Really ain't bad at all. Um, let's see if I can, yeah, I think you can see in the angle right there, there's, you know, it's pick scratches. Going across there from Playwear. Well, that's weird. Somebody, somebody told me this is a left-handed guitar, so I don't know. That's weird. I would think that this is a pick gourd. That's how little I know about guitars. It looks like scratches from picking this guitar. Maybe somebody was playing it right-handed. I just don't know. Um, I'm sorry I don't know the answer to that. It's a Legacy Left Bourbon Burst CWQIT. Made in Canada. You can see the inside's really clean. We're coming around the edges here. It's really pretty wood on this. Um, let's see. I do see there's a little nick right there. I don't think it's like a little few little dents right there. Um, I think you can see that. Looks like there's something on it right there. I don't I think that'll come off. Let me. And there's a little nick. There's a little nick right up here. There's a little nick right there. It's not really breaking the finish. Um, or maybe it is. I don't know. It's, it's a wooden guitar instead of like I, people talk about finish. I think more so with like painted electric guitars. I think this little spot down here is something that might come off. Pause for a minute here. Look at the wall for a minute. Let's see if I can let that off a bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely something that'll come off. I didn't get it all off right now, but I'll do it when I go back inside. But I'll show you if that little spot at the bottom right there came off. You can see there was a little, little mark down there. And I can't, I can't even see. There's a little piece, just a miniature piece left. Yeah, I think you'll see it right there. Just like three little specks. That was a bigger mark, but it was just something that was on it. There's some minor nick, minor ding. There's one right there. So. You know, the answer is all in all, it's really in really nice, appears to be in nice, really nice condition in my opinion. Again, like I say all the time, I'm not a guitar expert. Don't claim to be by any means a stretch of the imagination. I know very little. Let's go back over the back one more time. There's spots in this. I think these spots that's on the back of this, it looks like it's just, that's how the wood was made. That's what I think. Coming up here. There's a few little spots, or I don't know if you call them dings or scratches. Right around the edge of this. Let's see if I can get that camera to focus in there on that. It is hard to get this little camera to focus. I just keep saying I need to bring my GoPro. Um, 
minor damage. I'll call it minor damage. And I, I'm not sure that that, but I've seen wood. I used to work in a sawmill and I know wood is almost like where worms was in the wood or something. Wormy chestnut or you know, whatever they call it. I mean, some people really like that for their flooring and stuff. I think I'm pretty, pretty sure that wood is just made like that right there. See all those little pecs. But, um, you can see, actually, I did a poor job right here. You can see around the edges that it looks like the color's a little bit different, but I'll tell you why that is, because there was some dust on this right before I brought it out just now, and I put some of our guitar finish. With, uh, there's a product. They tell me it's kind of like a wash and wax i mean it's more than just a dust off thing that you can use and it's, it's made by fender we sell it in our store and I, I keep a bottle of it with me to kind of dust guitars off and i missed going across the edges right there um my, i'm sorry about that i'm gonna go back and uh i'll go back and go all the way around the edge of that because that from what i understand that that liquid it kind of gives you somewhat of at least a protective coat and i should have wiped this down a little bit better but um, six minutes now, almost seven minutes here. I make these videos too long all the time. Um, I need to keep them at five minutes just to keep your interest. I mean, really, honestly, people don't want to hear me babble on about this because I really don't know much what I'm talking about. I can just let the camera do the job more than what I can do. You know? So I'm hoping you can see the bottom right here. This part right here looks really good, in my opinion. I hope the camera's showing you better than what I can tell. Better than, I hope the camera's describing it better than I can. Because I'm not very good. But I'll come back and take some pictures of this too and I'll end the video right here. Um, you excuse the mess, somebody's been smoking out here. Um, but anyway, that's the uh, Art & Luthery Acoustic Electric.